welcome back to, the, to another quick Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I uh, just like to show you how to do a quick overpass. I'm started with a profile here. Uh, ramp to I did a very simple one. As you can see, make sure you um, you know override the service what you want to, and then let's get out of this. Select the wall, and I select my ramp and we use the magic wand tool to click that in. All right, so what we got here, very simple is, the ramp is flat at the moment. So what we do is next, we select the ramp and we convert it to a move. Okay, great. And now I only want to select the ones in the middle here and we elevate them by four. Now the next bit is, if you want to select just this face and move it down, you've got to change the tool here, watch this, if I select and hold shift down, it deselects everything. So if you have this one here, and now hold shift down, it deselects the rest of the faces. So I can just move this one down by 1500 now. There you go. Okay, and you do the same thing on the other side. There you go, so that ramp is now pretty nice. You know, again, this is just a quick design, but you can see how it nicely goes up and down. So the next bit is I can even add a quick railing to it and make sure instead of static, you have to be associative. There we go, because now I can just draw along here, but that selected, let's just start from here, click there. And as you can see, it will now go nicely along. Oops, gotta click there. And there, and let's just go along here. And we go down. There we go, and we go down here. That's, and we finish this off. All right, obviously we go into our, our 2D. Okay, so I just uh, show this as trace reference. There we go. Oh, beautiful, that must be a nice little um, pen in there for the handrails. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, see that looks great. Just maybe very quickly selected the rail to get rid of this funny um, line. You can see yeah, it's just as a default setting there. Let's just get rid of that. All right, so that's better. So obviously you can do the same on the other side with the railing in 3D. Hey, there you go. So that looks pretty cool now, see? There you go. Just quickly to add maybe some columns. Very simple, we just take columns, take it round one, make them 200, and the height, let's just, just make it three and a half. And we just pop them in. There you go, let's just Put one there. Ooh, 200 is way too little. Let's make them 500. There we go. Okay, let me do another one. There. There. There we do one. Yeah, that actually, you know, that's enough. Don't really need that one. There we go too low you just move them up very simple okay there you go 
hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and I see you back next time. Bye for now.